Now we've got a few new curve brushes. Uh, so what I'm gonna do is go into our tool palette here, go grab a sphere on our canvas, uh, go into edit mode, make poly mesh 3D, and I'm gonna turn on polyframe or uh, hit shift F to turn that on. And again, we're gonna go down here to our material and choose skin shader four so we can see this a little bit easier. So if you hit B on our keyboard to bring up the brush menu, C to go into our curve brushes, you're gonna see we have a curve flat and a curve flat snap. Now, if you're familiar with the IMM curve brushes, you're gonna know that um, the curve snap is basically, let's go hit B, C, curve flat snap. You're just gonna drag out on your um, canvas here. It's going to be sticking to the surface of our mesh and that's gonna be controlled underneath your stroke menu over here. So underneath stroke curve, you're gonna have snap turned on so that when we drag this around, it's going to wanna to stick to the surface of our mesh. Um, we also have new bend end and bend start uh, options. So if we go in here to ZBrush 2021, what's new, this playlist. If you go down here to video, uh, 71 down here, there's going to be a curve brush overview and refresher, and then it's going to talk about the new curve brushes in 2021.6. And then in 2021.6.4, you're going to have this option. So uh, we're going to go ahead and turn on bend start and bend end, and now we can go ahead and grab the start in the beginning, and it's going to snap uh, to the surface of our mesh as we drag this around. Um, of course, if we turn snap off, now we're just going to have a curved brush that we can now drag around and it's not going to snap to the surface of the object. Uh, of course, that's gonna be this other brush. So we hit B, C, and then go over here to curve flat. That's just gonna be the curve flat brush with snap turned off. So now we can drag out this curve brush. Now, if you're familiar, if let's go in here, B, C, nine, which is our curve two brush. Uh, if you have a curve on your scene, you can actually just tap to update that curve and that'll update it to this new curve tube. And if we go down here to our brush, modifiers you're going to see you have the modifier set to 20. well if we take this modifier and we crank it up and set it to 45 and then tap to update our mesh here you're going to see it's going to have 45 uh, spans around here and then if we turn turn this down to like four it's only going to have four so it's essentially going to be a uh, cube extruded down this uh, path here and in fact we can take the z intensity we can turn this down and you're going to see it's going to update and it's going to flatten that out you know, it's only gonna be 34% as opposed to 100%. So in fact, when we flatten this out and we go in here to B, C, nine, that's curve strap snap. And that's what this is doing is basically taking this modifier and uh, pulling it down to four and then dropping that Z intensity. So we can take that Z intensity back to 100 and there's our curve strap snap. And another thing we can do is we can take this brush modifier and turn it down to zero. And when I do that, it's just going to create a flat plane. There we go. Uh, and essentially, that's what BC6 is. That's what that curve flat is. So now we can go through here. We can basically drag out hair cards. And like I mentioned before, if you want to go to my ZBrush 2021 What's New, uh, here's the curve alpha brushes, repel strength and picker options. There's a lot of really cool stuff you can do with curves now. Uh, but at its baseline, this is the new curve flat and curve flat snap. You can just drag out hair cards and then if you just tap off, that'll delete that curve and then you can just continue drawing more curves or you can just draw more curves over here. And then you can just drag out uh, from the end of one of the curves, it'll update the curve. Uh, you can click and drag and move these things around uh, to update the curve as well. Now there's more cool options. If you go through here and you start dragging this out, you're gonna see it, we have a default resolution. It's kind of just nice, even quads. If you want to have more resolution in here, you can go down here to brush, modifiers, and then up at this curve res. We'll put this at three and we'll tap to update. You're gonna see now we're gonna have even more spans. That's gonna increase the resolution of the uh, curve flat brush that you drag out. Now they also mentioned that you can add gradients to this. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna go in here to Subtool. We're gonna turn on this little brush icon that's gonna turn on your poly paint mode and we're gonna turn off polyframe. So now, um, you know, if we just drag this out, it's gonna be white because we have white selected. So all the verts are gonna be filled with a white color. However, we can go through here and we can choose like a red color. And then I'm gonna choose this black secondary color here. And we're gonna go ahead and tap that and we'll make maybe a, maybe a orangey uh, color so it's going to go from red to orange so now if i turn on gradient and i drag this out it's going to go from uh, red to orange or in this case orange to red start to finish if you want to switch those just hit v on your keyboard that'll switch those up we can tap the update now it's going to go uh, red to lighter orange so now you can go through here very quickly and have a nice gradient for the um, cards that you draw out oh one more thing i should mention you know this goes back to the birth curves we'll go hit b c We'll go back here to brush curve tube. Let me go back in here to modifiers and it's uh, set to zero. So that's gonna give us a uh, flat 
result. And of course, if we take this modifier up and we'll put this at like 12, now it's gonna give us a nice tube with again, 12 uh, divisions around uh, this this here. Now, in pre I think the previous release to ZBrush, this number was weird, now it matches. So it's very much like, hey, if I type in 24, I can expect 24 divisions around this tube. So that's been updated as well.